Hello, YouTube. So, my uh, wife got a couple more fish for her tank and a snail now. The tank's pretty much complete in terms of what she wanted it to be, so. You can see we got two glowfish tetras. The green one looks really cool when it swims under the, or over the blue LED over here. It'll actually glow. I'll tr turn the light off and show you in a little bit. This tank still has a bit of an algae problem. It's only about two months old, so I had used filter media and everything ready for it, but I still have to deal with the white hair algae that you normally do with a tank. Um, I'm letting it grow on the side over here so that the new snail can eat what it wants. I always keep a little algae in the tank. Some of the fish like to nibble on it sometimes. It feeds the snails and it feeds the shrimps. So. There's about nine shrimp in this tank. They all seem to be hiding right now. There's one. There's another. There we go. There's a couple. Alright, so I'll turn the light off on the aquarium and we'll see if the green one will swim over the light for us quick. There he is. So, I'm actually a biochemist in real life. I, I work in a lab, and I use fluorescent proteins all the time. I use GFP, which is what that green tetra is expressing. So, here's a fun little science lesson for anybody who enjoys these things. The green fluorescent protein, the way it works is you have to hit it with light of a certain color and then that excites some electrons in the protein and it winds up giving off some energy is slightly lower wavelength light which means that it's a slightly kind of darker color as you go down the spectrum so you excite it with blue light or near ultraviolet and then it emits green which is a longer wavelength and slightly lower energy so this fish is actually fluorescing because of the light that's hitting it it's the proper wavelength so a lot of the other fish their colors aren't excited at the same wavelength the blue light won't make them glow you can see the orange one kinda glows which means that I'm not familiar with what protein it expresses but that means that its excitation peak is somewhere near blue also So I know a lot of people disparage these glowfish for being too unnatural and things, but I think they're kind of an awesome fusion of what science can do when applied to, you know, animals that we keep as pets. It can make some really beautiful combinations of things that really don't harm these animals and are pretty enjoyable to us. Although, I 
would not advocate for ever releasing them into the wild. I suspect they wouldn't survive. They reproduce at a lower rate for some reason, so I suspect they wouldn't survive. But you never know. Invasive species can come out of nowhere. Alright, I think I've rambled on long enough. Thanks for watching.